people, it's Pote, and welcome back welcome to Subnautica. Captain. Uh, if you're just tuning in, by the way, if you just, if you missed the last live stream, you can still see the live stream at beam.pro slash Pote Plays, uh, underneath the, the video, the main video at the bottom of the page there, you can see the VODs, and they stay there for a little while, so if you got the chance and you want to see how I made the prawn suit in the stream that we did, and that we named it Johnny Depth. Well, feel free. But today's actually not going to be about the prawn suit. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, surprisingly. Instead, I'm actually going to be grabbing some of that. We're going to grab the water out of here. And how's this thing doing, by the way? Ah, it still has... A lot of stuff in it. It's like if I leave the area, it doesn't render in and it doesn't register that it's uh, supposed to be consuming that. Um, some potatoes. Why? Because they're so good to fill the hunger bar and the water bar. Um, so we made the prawn suit in our stream and that took basically all stream to do um today what i wanted to do i just want to what's the battery like in this it's 99 percent. that's fine um let's go and no 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 cured food let's cure some of these fish so i can actually have food on the go and where we're gonna go today because in our live stream we also made the modification station i'll show you guys that in case you missed it Okay, so modification station, a very important element of the game, allows you to create modules for things like this prawn suit, and like the sea moth, and all that, and other items as well actually, um, like I have a brand new survival lightsaber now, it looks weird because, uh, well I need to be in the water for my arms to unglitch, but there you go. Yeah, look at this thing. Look at this thing. The red hot lightsaber knife. Really awesome. I love it. I love how, like, the effect shows, like, the water boiling around it. Though, I don't know why it still does that when I'm not in the water. But I like that effect. Either way. So I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining. It looks pretty sweet. Alright. So there's that. Um, we can also do things like... Repulsion cannon upgrade to a repulsion cannon. I don't know what the uh, the real difference is, except I guess this is more of a weapon, more than anything. Uh, Cyclops upgrades. We can have an ultra reinforcement module, which requires over a hundred titanium. I did the math, crazy amount, and we can do sea moth upgrades. So Mark II and Mark III pressure comp. And I've done that. I've done that upgrade. They are interchangeable. I could put the pressure compensator into this little prawn suit here. I, I have the basic one in there right now. Um, so the sea moth. I'll, I'll show you guys just a little bit, I, I guess, of what the sea moth can do. If you missed that live stream, even on the live stream, I didn't play around with it too much. Um, drop well, down. It's got a new computer voice, of course. Um, and you can punch with it. If you have a drill arm, which I do have the recipe for. See, I can even punch a fish. Did I kill it? I don't know. If you have a drill arm and stuff, you can harvest resources, those giant ore deposits and so on. Um, it does just walk on the ground like any mech suit would. Uh, the depth, the max depth right now is 900. Though I'm sure that that is actually a glitch. Let's see if I can't uh, access the upgrades. Should be right here. If I pull that out and then put that back in. Yeah, so that was just a glitch. See now at the top it says fi uh, 1050. The max it can go is 1500 if I put the Mark III in it. Um, which is about as deep as you'd ever need to go into this game. So this will be my lava zone, the place that we saw last episode. That'll be my lava zone exploration vehicle. Today though, 
Um, I'm going to actually go and grab our little Seamot. Mr. Mocking stuff. You'll notice that I also am getting reclaimed water now. Um, I think it also used to give me salt, but it's not anymore. Um, it's because I have this still suit on. I also equipped the rebreather to absorb CO2 and recycle air. So, you can stay underwater longer or something like that. I don't know what the re rebreather really benefits me, uh, but it apparently does. Okay. Uh, another thing is that people are saying, no, these the lights weren't glitched. Um, the fact that you can't really see much isn't glitched. What you have to do is go and turn off the interior lights, and then it kind of fixes it. But it doesn't. It doesn't fix it. It's still, like, really super foggy, difficult to see, you know? Even with the interior lights on. I'd accept that if it fixed it, but it doesn't. So I'm going to still chalk it up to being a glitch. Because I feel like it should... Give you the quality of light that every other suit does. Like, look, this one. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's like you can see so much with these lights, these headlights. You can see so much. It's incredible. But uh, anyway, I realized today because I. Oh yeah, look, this glitch too. Again, same glitch. It says max depth 200 meters. If we leave. Go to our... It's kind of crummy that we have to keep doing this, but... I have the Mark III in there. Throw that back. And now I can go 900 meters. Which, again, is, a, is it's, a, it's as deep as I can get the Cyclops. 900 meters. In this little tiny sea moth. Oh! You know what? I actually wanted to change the colors of the sea moth. And I know that... Like, I actually wanted to make this recording short, and now it's already been way too long, <laughs> I feel like. Uh, just messing around with the prawn suit and all that, but I really wanted to change the color. I saw a color scheme the other day that I really liked, and I wanted to try it out. So first of all, I have to go and take this guy, move him, just drop him to the bottom of the sea. There. Goodbye, prawn suit. And I'll go and, oops, <laughs> smash it in. Okay. Now the color's here. So let's see here. The base color, <clears throat> I'm actually going to make white. And the exterior, no, it, name, stripe. Is this what? It, no. Interior. I'm going to make red. Stripe. I'm gonna make. I think that's same level of red. Where, where did I put it? Up near the top. So I'm gonna do the same. <clears throat> Stripe two. Same. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of a sudden, I got a frog in my throat. Ribbit. So let's dial that back a little bit. I kind of want them to be more or less the same. Same dot area. Name can actually stay black. Uh, but what do you think about that color scheme? Man, that looks slick. That stripe there, though, is way too neon red. And that is stripe... Nope, not that one. What's the other one? This one. So let's dial that back to, like, there. Done. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that is slick, guys. That looks so nice. It's like an iPhone or something. <laughs> it's like a it's like a race car. Like a Formula One car. White with red interior. Awesome. Alright. Now this thing's way faster than the Cyclops. I don't need to take the Cyclops. I'm not gonna really need to store anything. Um I think that our energy reserves will be good enough. I guess I could have brought. I really could have brought another power cell, but you know what? I'm not going back now. I'm not going back. I think I think that we're going to be fine if we make it there. Oops, I hit my mic. I kind of roughly know where the entrance is. So I have to head 
straight towards the survival island that I've named it. I have to head towards the survival island. I don't know where the entrance to the Lost River where I was before is. But there are several entrances, and I found one as I was leaving, like, the last episode, okay? I was like, okay, guys, I'm, I'm gonna go back to my base now. I'm gonna go down this hallway, see if it leads back. And it did. And where I came out was right, right, right underneath the survival island here. And it was right next to the... The, um, what do you call that? The underwater... Uh, ain't not ancient abandoned sea base. That's the word It was right next to the abandoned sea base So I'm going down going down our depth is already 135 and climbing dropping I guess dropping the numbers climbing our depth is dropping And I gotta go to yeah, right around here. So I drop down right here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've got to find the entrance. The entrance should be right around here somewhere. You almost can't miss it because it's really like one of the only one of the only entrances. <clears throat> I was over here trying to find something uh the the aluminum oxide is what i was trying to find ah uh, here it is nope that's not it all of a sudden there's just this sweet all of a sudden there's just this drop that you can't miss where is it though this is why i need beacons i need beacons like Crazy, but all the resources for the beacons and stuff I've been investing elsewhere, so um, I just feel like it's this way because like if I look at the beacon It's more directly underneath that survival island I thought I don't know guys I found it so easily yesterday that I thought that I'd find it again so easily today. It should just keep dropping. Where's the drop? These guys are like at the bottom. Shut up. I'm trying to explore here. Ah, here it drops off. Got some water. Drops off, drops off. Here we go. We're going down. We're going down. Oh, what the heck was that? I can't move. What the heck was that? Was it that guy? Something electrically charged hit me. It's the best I can describe what just happened to me. Okay, I'm at 500. So this should be the level that we have to be at. Now I'm basically just looking for that, uh, that abandoned sea base that we found before. I don't really... I'm not looking at the coordinates. I don't have them on top of the screen or anything. Here it is. There's that abandoned sea base that we had found our coffee machine in. And apparently, like, I, I came out right around here. So I'm gonna just drop down. Drop down. Keep on dropping down. Look at all these guys. Where's the entrance? Whoa! Hello. I just kind of rammed into that. What the heck is it? Just a floating... What the heck is it? Huh? Can I scan this? What is this? Is it alive? 
I can't. I'm not able to scan it, so. Man. I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what that is. It kind of scared me. I almost ran right into it. Well, I sort of technically did. But our little entrance now should be around here. It should, it should drop off. Maybe more close to that abandoned sea base. Where'd that sea base go? Where did it go? Whoa! Hello! Oh yeah, it's those crab things. They shoot electricity at me or something. Okay, so if the sea base is right up there... The direction I came up was like right here. And I had my giant cyclops, so it's gotta be... Like, it's gotta be a big enough entrance. Right? Whoa! That thing again. I almost smashed right into you again. Whatever you are. But come on, I... Like, the entrance is somewhere over here! I'm so upset that I can't find it! Definitely didn't go upwards. Man, those things. They're like... They like... Freeze me in place. Oh, is this it? This cave right here? Or is this just a... Ah, it's nothing. This? No. Come on! Where is it? Where is it? Is it downwards more? Is it on the other side of the... I don't think it's on the other side of the under... Of the abandoned sea base. But I'll look. The sea base is over there. You know what? I think it's actually this direction. Let me just look around a bit. around a bit because I, I remember coming up and I was on I was on the other side I was on the other side for sure because I remember these boxes oh man these guys energy zero percent thank god it charges back up but yeah I was definitely on this side Well, let's just go go forward as far as we can this way. Maybe we'll find it. And you see there's a wall here, like I can't go further. Can't go really down. I'm just going in circles. Maybe it's this way. I'm just gonna go around the perimeter until I find some entrance or something. Here we go. Here we go. Drop down. Yep, here we go. Here we go, here we go. It was on the other side. So I don't know how I managed that. With my little cyclops. My huge cyclops, really, but... Somehow did. Okay, back in the Lost River, finally. I got turned around, I guess. Like, I must have... The only way I could have messed that up is if I came up and then like took a hard right for some reason 
I don't know why, but for some reason, I took a hard right, and then, well, that's that. Look at that glitch there. See, this is nice in the little sea moth. I don't know that the prawn suit would do good at this kind of terrain, so I'd need to come in with the cyclops again. But that's not where we're going today, not to the lava zone. Nope, nope, nope. We're going to go this way and then spin around to the right and go to the disease research facility, I think is what it is. I think. I'm pretty sure. Because I knew that that was in the Lost River. And that's where we are at. Um, people also wanted me to see this. Like, I, I did see this before off camera. Um, just this kind of creature. Look at this kind of creature. Look at it. Isn't it weird? These massive, like, single arms. And then this... The skull is just so bizarre. Yeah, I was very aware that that existed. I, I didn't remember that I, I hadn't shown anybody. Okay, so I just came from there, so then the disease research, yeah, right here. Okay, let's go in. I need to actually drink some water. Take some of those. Drink one of those. There we go. Boy. Drink a lot of water just now. My resources are dwindling. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Cause unknown. Computing theories. Thanks, computer. Hmm. Where does that pipe end up going? I'm just into that rock. look like it goes too much further in any direction like these pipes still grapple into the rocks but what is that yeah see they just grapple into the rocks anything in here that I can scan by chance Kinds of creatures and warpers and something going woo. Is this the entrance? No. Uh, these noises. Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads: caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Oh, really? Really, really. I can hear something. Is this a prison? No. Ah, here's the entrance. in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Interesting. Okay, so I need I guess to go back and get one of those ooh. Can't scan that egg. What is this? Whatever it is, I can't scan that either. Oh. This is like a research facility, for sure. I wish I could get a containment unit like that.
What are you, data download? Integrating new PDA data. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go back. See if I can get my... See, I, I need, for this data download there, I do have several purple artifact Welcome pieces, aboard, the key Captain. pieces. I even have an orange one, for what it's worth. Whoop, come on, you can make it in. God. Oh God. Goodness gracious. Look at this massive piranha. That is all kinds of creepy. I can actually scan it too. Can I scan the other skeletal remains outside? I wonder. Skeletal remains found at alien habitat. I wonder if that's, uh... uh no... I don't know. I guess it'd be in here somewhere. Data download, maybe? Alien data? Skeletal remains found. The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests it was kept alive. <clears throat> hmm. It shares some skeletal traits with the biter. It's significantly larger. And the unusual forearms more in common with sea dragon. Is this the same? This might be the same as that one outside. Whoa. Creepy! Alright. Let's just breathe Residual some air. Residual biological evidence okay. suggests that indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive gene manipulation. So this is a mutant biter. I suppose. Let's breathe some air. Let's eat some food. Let's go on out. Oh god. Woo. I can't really scan any of these things, but data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Uh-oh. Infected? New PDA data. Performing self-scan. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Oh, God! A warper. Scary. The self-warping quarantine enforcer unit. Uh, its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from this facility. The brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented with advanced processing power. Programmable hunter killer. Avoid. That's not like any of the other warpers I've seen. So now there's a cyborg, cyborg warper, hunter killer. 
I can kill this one, right? Can I? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I think that I'm basically done here. I'm done. That noise is just the uh, sound of the little platform coming up. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Whoop. Don't believe that I'm missing anything else except for that room that I can't open. Oh, there's another one of those. I might as well take them. I mean, they are fairly rare. Zion crystals. Interesting. So another door that I can go through. Cyborg alien. I'm infected now. And you know, I was fine before. I was fine. I wasn't infected by anything. I was perfectly fine before. I'm just gonna see if I can scan this thing outside. But, uh, yeah, I was perfectly fine before. I think maybe as soon as I went in there I got infected? I'm not sure. I can scan myself. It says infected. Oh yeah, sea dragon. There we go. A sea dragon. That of the sea dragon leviathan, suggesting it is either the same species or close cousin. Huh? Oh, scroll up. 99% overlap with the sea dragon leviathan. Hey. <laughs> What the heck is a sea dragon leviathan? All I know is I am quite done here for now. I am getting out of here. There's that tree. Where's the way out? This way. I'm on my way out. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video, comment below, do all those other awesome things people do. The next time I come down here, I think I'm going to be with the... I'm probably going to grab the Cyclops and the Prawn Suit, and we're going to go to that Lava Zone, or at least try. i got to definitely think more, more about the... Wait, can I... Maybe I can scan that giant head at the beginning there. Um, but I, I think that I, I'm going to bring the Prawn Suit... I'm going to think more about food that I bring so that I'm not, like, struggling to survive food-wise. Um, it would have probably been wise to bring another power cell because this thing's at 60%. I can make it back, but it certainly would have been easier if I hadn't had to... Let's see if I can scan this. Nope. No scanny. That's fine. Either way, we're done. We're going to see you guys next time in Subnautica, where the plot thickens.